Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. So we're going to take today's showcase and turn it into a showdown because we have done a full GT73 VR review before with a single NVIDIA GTX 1080 video card. Today the new one we're bringing you has dual video cards, has two of the NVIDIA GTX 1070s. So the main purpose of today's review is going to be a head-to-head -head showdown against the old and new so we can show you which one has more power and is more what you might want in a laptop. So we'll go ahead and proceed with our review as normal and we'll get to the head-to-head -head benchmarks coming soon. So as we continue to roll through the product tour here, we'll go through all the sides so you can see all the interfaces. Right hand side, two USB ports and an SD card slot as well as one of the intakes. You can see that beautiful RGB backlit LED keyboard. Go ahead and close it up, spin that around. Our other side has more USB connections, our audio connections, and the rear is where we have all of our video and power connections, as well as our Ethernet. Now here's one of the main differences between the old and new units. The new unit, using two video cards, actually has a dual power supply. And then they get spliced together using this adapter. So each of these power supplies is a little bit less than the single power supply you got before, but they add up to be a lot more extra power when put together. As for exact wattage, we have these coming in at 230 watts each. So that's a grand total of 460 watts of power the laptop gets. The uh, single GTX 1080 setup came with a single 330 watt power adapter. So of course you're going to be paying a small price in weight. Just the power adapter side of things is going to be 4 pounds and 8 ounces. Alright, so next up let's go ahead and go into the operating system and look at our device manager for each system. Alright, so now with both systems on we have the device manager on the left and the monitor properties on the right. So we can show you all the differences. So the big difference that we were talking about already was the dual video cards, GTX 1070s and SLI. But also the CPU has been, of course, upgraded to the newest and greatest. The i7-7820HQ at 2.9 GHz is going to give us more processing power as well. The monitor panel over on the right. And our resolution for that monitor. So now if we jump to the older system, that came loaded with the single GTX 1080 video card. And you can see we're running the 7820HQ at the 2.9 GHz to match those CPUs. And we have a slightly different monitor panel ID here. And this one's running the 1080p at 120 hertz, as the other one was running 60 hertz at a higher resolution. Okay, so next up, it's going to be time to kick off some of those benchmarks. So the official benchmarking part of this review has begun. Both machines hooked up in tandem right now, kicking off the 3D Mark benchmark. As you can see, they look exactly the same other than the power adapters coming out the back. Same chassis, same keyboard. There are minute differences in the screen that you can't really tell. One of them is a 4K screen and one's a 1080p screen. For the benchmark at a static screen resolution, that will make a difference. All right, so after 3D Mark, we have Cinebench going on. Our left machine is the one with the SLI set up with the 1070s. We'll go ahead and zoom in and take a look at those scores. So 123.85 frames per second is what to expect on the SLI setup. And 
and we're comparing that against 123.56 frames per second. And that's using the OpenGL protocol. As you can tell with equal scores on both machines, that was pretty much limited to the CPU and with the same CPU in both laptops, we got equal scores. All right, so still within the Cinebench suite, we're moving into the next benchmark. Now the first half tested the OpenGL, which is the video card. The second part here is running a CPU benchmark. Now we should see identical scores being that we have the same CPU hardware, but we'll make sure by testing it. And now that's finished, we can zoom in, take a look. A 778 as far as the score on this side. And we're going to be comparing against a 776, which is identical except for the variances you naturally observe in benchmarking. So here we are. We have another piece of new software for this head-to-head -head showdown today. Blender 2.78. This is a 3D modeling software. So we don't get a benchmark out of this where we can see actual numbers written on screen but it's a real life, real life performance test of sorts because 3D modeling is very intense on the entire system, both the video cards, the RAM, and the CPU. And it's a really good test to see if that dual video card setup helps us. Now in the case of NVIDIA, where you have CUDA to help 3D acceleration, having two video cards should give you quite a bit extra performance because you have the ability to offload all that rendering to a video card also, you get more video card RAM usually. So we'll just keep messing with both computers side by side and let you get a few comparisons of our loading speeds and rendering speeds. So if you were thinking to yourself, I wonder if two video cards makes one laptop run hotter than the other, that's actually the same question we had. So while we're running those real life tests, we're actually gonna do the temperature measurements with the, the FLIR here. Historically speaking, two video cards usually is hotter than one. It's double the hardware to cool and you have less space to work with but so far with these two machines, we're not seeing any dramatic differences. Alright, so after playing with Blender for a long time, we came up with a benchmark of our own to fully render planet Earth 
and therefore have the same test on both machines and a good time figure we can use as a benchmark. So 11 minutes and 28 seconds is how long it took on the SLI 1070 setup as compared to the other system using the single GTX 1080 took almost twice as long in this case 22 minutes and 4 seconds so again as we were saying earlier it makes a big difference to have that second video card and sometimes think of it outside of just a gaming computer also realize it can be used in a professional environment such as 3D rendering as well So now we're back on to our traditional gaming benchmarks. We'll run some Fire Strike and 3D Mark. No reason not to have those scores included as well, so those benchmarks are currently running as we speak. So Fire Strike 18,474 on the SLI setup. And that's with our G-Sync turned off. Here's our temperatures. You can see the CPU under 70 degrees Celsius throughout that test. Down below when we get to the video cards, we have one of them at 68 and the other at 69. So everything underneath of that 70 degree uh, Celsius threshold. Now our single system, 16,505 on our score. Also with the G-Sync turned off. And of course temperatures for this. Our CPU in the same range under 70 degrees Celsius. And just one GPU temperature to check. The 1080 at 71 degrees. So a little bit hotter, just a few degrees hotter on the single 1080 as far as the video card's maximum temperature. But we're talking very small changes, nothing drastic. So as seen today by the wide variety of tests that we've completed, having the second video card can make as little as no difference when you're CPU limited to as much as twice as much of a difference when you're GPU limited, such as the 3D rendering. So it's up to you to based on what your needs are. One machine could be better than the other. Prices are close enough between the two that it's not too hard to make that decision as far as money, more on need. So we're going to go ahead and take them both apart, of course, so you can see the differences in the setup on the hardware. Also, this is a great time while we're detail stripping the laptops to remind you guys this is not our detail product showcase full review on the GT73VR laptop. We'll have the link to that video in the description of this video so you can check that out. We'll have a lot more detail on the software, the ports and interfaces, and the ins and outs of the laptop. Today's video is more of the head-to-head -head showdown just to show the differences between the GPU setups. So as per normal on a Gentech PC video, if you see the laptop apart, that means it's time for us to depart. So the first order of business is to say thank you very much for watching our videos and enjoying them. We just want to say we always appreciate the viewership. If you have any questions about today's laptops, we'll of course have informational links down in the video's description. But if you have any questions you would like to ask us one-on-one, -on -one, then feel free to contact us by phone or email. We'll be happy to help you out. Any general questions, just post them down below in the comments section. So I just want to remind you once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.